Hi everybody, it's Andrea and welcome back to the channel. It is that time when we all look at each other's pictures that we completed in the month. So in the month of April I completed 16 pictures, so that's less than normal. Um, well, it's less than last month, but uh, I did injure my thumb and it's still really sore. I can't put too much pressure on it, so holding pencils uh, is quite, and pencils is quite pens and pencils are quite hard. I have to hold them in a certain way, which makes my hand ache. So hopefully it will clear up soon and I'll be back to normal. So first of all, we've got mandalas for beginners. This is Jade Summer, and these are pastel pens. These were the pastel pens I got in what? Um, the, the, like I said, the purple one didn't work, but because they were only ninety-seven pence for eight pens. I wasn't really worried about that one, so that's the first one, just a simple one. I did another one in Sally Berry, oh how that hurt, 300 uh, colouring mandala designs. Let me just find it for you, and I did this one, and that was using glitter gel pen. No, that was last month, that would have been that one, it was that one. This was on the wrong page for some reason, anyway. So yeah, that was done from uh, glitter gel pens, and it was, I was uh, I think it's um it was just a mixture of various pens. So there's some Link Shine in there, there's some Arteza, there's some A and Art, and so so on. Very nice. I do like this book, it's so thick, but I really enjoy just mindlessly colouring mandalas sometimes. Creative Haven Rose Windows. I did two in this book. I love this book, it's so simple and easy to colour in. And the first one I did was uh this one with the, the sun. And this, again, was done with the markers I got from Liddles. I think I'm going to use those ones in this book and just use those ones in this book and nothing else. It's because it, it, uh, there's only eight pens, so it keeps me focused. So I did that one. And then I did the Big Sun one, which is literally just three colours. Um, and again, using the same marks from Liddles. This book, I could see me completing quite quickly. I really love it. It is so nice, so I want to colour in that one again in May. Another one I did was, I've done lots, again, lots of patterns because it's easier for me to hold the pens and do it in little bits because I hold them in a specific way. Then with pencils are even worse. My gel pens are quite painful, but it's doable. And I did this one. Now this was with the watercolour pens from Liddles. Now they are actual watercolour pens and you can put a water brush on and spread it out but I just use them as normal markers and it came out fine yeah I like this but I like Camellia Angel covers you know so I'm quite happy with that one there are some proper pictures coming up uh, then again another Jade Summer was easy 50 easy mandalas again just because it's so simple to do and I did this one now this was done with the um, what markers as well, but this was the brights rather than the pastels. Apart from the green's not very bright, but there you go. And in fact I used three different greens. <laughs> I'm sure that's the ones they were. But yeah, it's quite a nice pattern. Right, the next one is from Ava Brown and this is from I think it's Secret Garden 3, I wanna say. That's quite a cute one. I enjoyed that one. It was just so easy to do and, and I just enjoyed it. And then we have one from Sweet Treats by Ava Brown. I did this sort of as an orange uh, cake with orange and lemon flavours. This was done with, again, I think it was the ones from What? Plus some of the shuttle arts as well. Another one is, this one was from Spring Garden, I think it was called, something like that anyway. Um, this was done with Black Widow pencils. This one I started at the end of last month and I, it rolled over into this month, but I really, really like it. I like the way that they're just such simple images of just everyday things that go on, so I like that one. And then we've got one in Chibi Grayscale 2 by Ava Brown. This is one of the ones I've bought. This one we did on camera and I do like this one I think it's gorgeous I think all the pictures in here are gorgeous um, so yeah I'm going to enjoy doing some more in that one as well this was done using the Ohuhu markers um, 
and I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, and I thought I'd do something different. So I did the stars red rather than gold or yellow, and just I just did it like that. I just thought it'd be to make a change. Another a brown one. This one was from. Oh gosh, there's so many books. I can't remember what one this one's for, from, but it's um. I'm gonna say spring scenes. There's so many of them. But I like this one. I really like this one. Or uh, something garden. Se no, this was secret garden. The other one was oh, what was it? Secret houses or something like that. They have some similar books at the moment. So at uh, fifty easy easy patterns again by Jade Summer. Oh, those are bright. I think that was just done with. Let me just smell it. Hard to tell. I think it was, uh, I'm going to say that was Sharpies to be honest, or one of those bright sets of markers I've got. It's, sometimes it's really, really hard to remember what, what, what pencils and pens you've used. And I don't write it down, and perhaps I should start writing it down. But again, this was just a quick one to do, and I enjoyed it using the brights and deciding where the colours go. And this one is, oh, this again, this is one of the books I plan on finishing at some point soon. This is Easy Flower Mandalas by Stef Stefania Miro. And I picked one that wasn't in order. I think I skipped one, didn't I? Yeah, I skipped one because I didn't want to do that one. I thought it was just too detailed because I was doing it late at night and I wanted something simple. So I'll go back and do that one soon. And this was using the new Oahuhu pastels. Or some of them and I really like that and my battery's gone so I'm gonna have to stop and start again okay that's the battery change so yeah that was done with the Uhuhu pastels I love this book I know I will finish this at some point so my camera's gone all funny now another pattern one well, this is um yeah 100 amazing patterns by Jade Summer and I did this one, and this again was with various gel pens. I was just trying to use up some of the old ones. Um, the orange I was using ran out. I think that was an Arteza one, so I had to go with the Link Shine. I had a hell of a job with these because all the Link Shine oranges just stopped working, and I don't know why. So I did this one. I didn't skip one in this book, did I? No. But I did this book because it wasn't one of their picture pages. I didn't want to do an animal page. I wasn't in the mood. So I do like to try and do them in order, but every now and again I will skip one and then go back to it. So, like I said, with Easy Flower Mandela's I did it because I didn't want to have one so complicated late at night. I just want to do something simple. But that one, I like that one. And two more. So a nice quick video this month. Steampunk Special Colour in Heaven. And we did this one from that, which was uh, uh, Foxy by Dawn Davidson. From the steampunk. Oh, I actually got it out this time. Didn't, couldn't get it out last night when I was filming the other one. Um, steampunk special. I, I like that one. I do like the pictures in this and I do want to do the Wizard of Oz one at some point. But we'll have to see about that. <laughs> anyway, that's that one. And the final one I did, and I only finished that today, uh, is this uh, one of this fairy by Molly Harrison. And this one's been hanging around for, well, I only started it a few, like last week, but I finished it off today. I, I only had her wings to do. Um, I couldn't blend it in like I did before because the paper's too smooth, so it just dried straight away. So I just did it like that, and I think it looks quite nice. Now, favourite picture of the month. There's not a huge to choose from picture wise. But I think I'm going to go with the Molly Harrison one. I think it's lovely. So I'll stick a ticket on it so that when I put it in my file in a minute, I'll know that it's my favourite. I'll just stick it there. So those are all the pictures I did this month. Not as many as I normally do. I do like that one as well. But I do hope that you've enjoyed um, seeing what I've been doing. And we'll see how we get on in May. I've got a lot of whips that I'm trying to finish because they're on the bottom of my desk awaiting it down which we don't want so yes I want to try and get some of the whips off the bottom shelf um, so I might do a colouring chat on Wednesday I'll film it on a Tuesday for a Wednesday which will be a whip it Wednesday catch up so we'll have your normal colouring chat when we do a, a normal picture or not normal a picture we start a picture together and finish it and then we'll do a whip on Wednesday when I 
I know some other people do them, when I take pick one of my whips and we just work through it and do as much of it as we can on camera and you can see what I've done so far. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you like the idea of, of seeing my whips um, being completed, let me know down below. Let me know what your favourite picture was for the month and I will see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye guys!